So let's talk a little bit about credit and lending. So when I talk about credit, I'm literally just talking about someone's willingness to lend you money or to actually lend you money. You've heard of a credit card. When you buy something with a credit card, essentially the credit card issuer is lending you the money to make that purchase and you're going to have to pay that back at some future date, likely with interest, likely with a lot of interest. Now, there's a lot of different types of loans or credit you can get. And they're going to have different costs associated with them. You're like, well, what's the cost of a loan? Well, sometimes there's just an outright fee associated with it, but more likely, or on top of that, the interest that you pay on a loan is how much you pay. So if you're paying 2% interest for a loan, you're paying a lot less per dollar on that loan than if you had to pay, say, 20% or 30% interest. And that might not seem like a lot, the difference between 2 and 20%. It's a ginormous difference. If you've watched our videos on compound interest, if you're paying 20% interest or even 10% interest, and, and if you're not paying down that balance pretty quickly, that could end up being a lot, a lot of money. You could very easily end up paying a lot more in interest than the in initial amount of money that you actually borrowed. Now, what are the scenarios where you're going to pay less or when you're going to pay more? Well, we have whole videos on your credit score and the better your credit score in general, the better a risk you look like you are to the lender. And so you're going to have to pay a lower rate, a lower interest rate, which is a good thing. Now, above and beyond that, there's different types of loans. There's loans where if you aren't able to pay it back, the person who lent you money, are still they're still going to be able to get something. So for example, if you take out a mortgage to buy a house, that's a loan and you have a down payment, and if you aren't able to pay it back for whatever reason, the bank will foreclose and will take the house and then they are likely to sell the house in order to get their money back. So there's some risk for the bank still. They have to go through all the trouble of foreclosing on the house. Maybe property values go down. That's one of the reasons why they take, give, make, also make you put a down payment. That also protects them a little bit. But it's a lot lower risk than if they didn't if they weren't able to get access to that house. And so there you're going to have to pay lower interest. Similarly, a car, higher risk than a house, so you're probably going to have to pay a higher interest for a car loan, but if you don't pay, the bank will take the car and then sell the car. At the other end of the spectrum, I talked a little bit already about credit cards. You're just buying stuff and if the if you don't pay back, it's going to be bad for you. The bank will really they'll they'll report to the credit age credit bureaus and it's going to hurt your credit score and future people aren't going to lend to you or uh, they're going to charge a lot more to lend. But from the bank's point of view, it's pretty risky. And so that's why they likely charge much higher interest. And that interest can easily be in the teens or even 20s, even up to 30% in certain situations. And that is a lot of interest. And that's why in other videos we talk about uh, maybe pay down your credit card balances as quickly as possible. And then there's things even more extreme, uh, things like payday loans, which I don't recommend anyone watching this video use. Those are usually uh, lenders to some degree taking advantage of people pretty desperate for money where they're out of money, they need $500, they go to these payday lenders and they say, okay, we'll give you $500, but pay us $550 in three days when you get your paycheck. For some folks that might not feel like that, okay, it's an extra $50, but if you actually think about that as an annual interest rate, I have a whole video on that, it's actually a, a ginormous interest rate. And if someone does that consistently, and it's obviously not a great cycle to be in, uh, you could end up paying a lot more to these payday loan lenders uh, than, than you suspect. So the big picture is credit can be a useful thing. Off, maybe you're making an investment, you're buying real estate, you need a place to live, you're buying a house, you need a car. These are all reasonable things and it is okay even sometimes to potentially borrow for consuming things, uh, things that you enjoy, but I would be a little bit or a lot more careful with that. But the key takeaway is the bigger a risk you are, the more that you're likely to pay for that loan.